Hello everyone, a bit of a different video today. Um, so I recently went to London to film a little kind of vlog, kind of review um, for the coronation of King Charles and Queen Camilla. Um, and loads of you liked it, which was really, really good because I enjoy putting it together, going to London and experiencing such an iconic and historical event. Um, so because of that, I've kind of had a bit of a think and someone actually commented on that video asking me if I'm going to Trooping the Colour. So if you don't know what Trooping the Colour is, that's basically an annual um, event. I'm trying to think of the right word for it. It's like a marching band sort of thing. There's so much happening. Um, and it basically celebrates uh, the birthday of the monarch. So this will be the first time King Charles has had um this celebration because this time last year it was the late queen's monarch birthday um so it isn't actually king charles's like proper birthday so obviously we have our birthdays on the day we were born sort of thing um but this is to celebrate him as being the monarch so it's his first monarch birthday so i am going up to london and i'm going to be going to trooping the color i'm not going to the proper event but i'm going to watch um the procession down the mall and I'm really, really hoping, now this is a long shot, but, you know, I'm going to try everything I can. I'm hoping to see them on the balcony. Um, if I do, I'll be a very happy person. If I don't, it's not the end of the world, but I will be trying my very best. I've planned the best place to stand to try and get there easiest, like it's it's happening. Um, but no, I'm really excited for this. I'm really excited to bring you along. Um, and I'm kind of getting into this whole, like, little public thing. Like, I don't know what you guys think. Let me know what you think. But... I'm excited. I don't know whether I'll be doing any more filming before I get up to London, but if I do, see you then. If I don't, see you in London. Hello everyone, so I'm doing a little room tour here. So first of all, we had the mirror there, which was pretty cool. And there were also three beds, which was pretty cool because I obviously only use one of them. Um, and there was a bit of a weird window because there was a stained glass window and you couldn't like open the first one to open the window. So that was a bit weird. Um, but it was really nice because the room had air conditioning and as you can see here we had a lovely bathroom and it was a great room. Hello everyone, I'm now at the hotel, I hope you enjoyed the little room tour. I thought it was quite unique that there was like a stained glass window sort of thing. It's a bit weird though because when you open the window it's not like directly out there but it's a nice unique feature to the room. So the plan for tomorrow is to get up nice and early, hence why I'm going to be going to bed quite early because I want to try and get the best spot possible at the Mall. Um, I'm really excited to see potentially the royal family tomorrow. When I went to the coronation it was such an exciting day and I'm hoping that there's going to be a similar vibe tomorrow. So I'm going to show you as much as I can and film as much as I can and it's going to be a really exciting day. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, I'm here at Buckingham Palace. I've been very lucky and I've got a really good spot. So basically the idea for the day is that uh, the king will come out from the entrance there and round, and then later on the procession should come round this way um, and you should get a really good view of the balcony appearance. So it's gonna be really exciting to see what we can see. Hello everyone, I'm now back at home and this part of the video is really gonna be about my experience at Trooping the Colour, what it was like, what I did to kind of get there and things like that. So I have lots to talk about. A lot happened in the day um, and I'm just excited to go through it with you all because it was just amazing. I had a great time and yeah so what I'm going to do is I've got a list here and I'm just going to make my way through and try and describe the day as best as I can. For somebody maybe next year you may want to go um, and stand on the Mall or at Buckingham Palace and watch the procession so I'm going to kind of share what it was like for me and how you perhaps can do it next year. So first of all I got up at quarter to six which is very very 
very early um, and I made my way from Clapham Junction on the bus to Vauxhall then on the Victoria Line to Green Park. So after all of that I arrived at Buckingham Palace at quarter to seven which was slightly earlier than I thought which is always a good thing um, and we managed to find a really good spot. So originally we were going to go to the Mall, we were going to go near the entrance to St James's Palace in uh, Clarence House because sometimes certain members of the royal family come out by car there so it would have been cool to see that. Um, so we spoke to the policeman there and I just said where exactly are people being let out to see the balcony appearance later on because the balcony appearance was what I wanted to see like the most. I was like ah that is something that I have wanted to see for such a long time so that was my main focus of the day. So the police told us that because we're there that early we may as well just make our way to Buckingham Palace because they've got two corners going round um, which are like kind of the perfect place to do the balcony. It's guaranteeing that you'll see it. So initially I went to, if you're facing Buckingham Palace, I went to the right hand side um, because that was where most people were. So I kind of just followed the crowds. So we got there and someone said, oh, you know, there's not a lot of people the other side. In fact, there was probably like four or five people the other side. So if we went there, we would get kind of a front row view where here we were already a row back so we made our way across to the other side which meant that we did get our own space which was nice and that was where I filmed the little clip of me at Buckingham Palace which I put on earlier so I had a secure spot I felt really happy with where I was and I knew that I was also going to see part of the procession as well which was always a bonus. So the first event of the day was a little bit different. I was expecting it to happen, but I also wasn't sure if it would. So some of the workers from the palace came out on the balcony and they bought a big red kind of fancy carpet thing out so it's not like a red carpet that you would see at a movie premiere it was a carpet that they put on the balcony so you probably would have seen it in photos before it's this red carpet and it's kind of like makes a cloud shape like that and they put it on the front of the balcony on royal occasions and events so it took a little while for it to go up and they were sticking it with something and they then um, ended up flipping it over um, and it looked really really cool it was just interesting to see how that happened I'd never seen that before so it was really really exciting and it was just a great thing to start the day off and around that time more people were arriving at the palace and I met some amazing people that day if you're watching this you know who you are it was lovely meeting you um, and one thing I just love about events like that is you meet people who you would never expect to meet and you just make friends even friends for life like it's just amazing it's one of the highlights of royal events like that and even like any event where there's lots of people and you're going to be waiting a while it's just lovely to meet new people so another weird thing that shortly happened after that was um there were a few like lorries that came and they were removing traffic lights and it took me a minute to realize why they did this so they have to take the traffic lights out of the ground so all of the carriages all of the horses all of the soldiers taking part can get through without having to be stopped by something. So they took the traffic lights out of the ground, which was something I obviously not a lot of people would have seen before. So everybody around me was like, whoa, what's happening? It was really, really cool. It was such a different event. Um, and they put them on the back of this like lorry thing. So it was kind of a crane that lifted it up, but it was really, really cool and something that I'd never seen. So that was actually quite an enjoyable part of the day. And now skipping a little bit forward to 10 a.m. This was when everything really started to begin. So I'd been waiting a few hours. Um, it actually went really, really fast. I feel like in situations like that, time just flies. So a lot of the soldiers were starting to get into position. There had already been a few marching bands go past, horses, um, policemen were coming past. Um, so we knew that it was going to be starting soon because the BBC broadcast was starting at half past 10. So we had a good idea of when it was going to be starting. And what was really, really exciting was that we saw the Prince and Princess of Wales and their children drive into the palace and um, their car. So that was something we didn't expect to see. We didn't expect to see any of the royal family before the procession began. So they went into the palace and shortly after the King and Queen then drove past and everybody was so excited to see that. So it was a great start to the day. We'd already seen some of the senior royals before the event even started. So fast forwarding a few more minutes, um, probably maybe just after half past 10, 
this is when it was really beginning to start it was really exciting the crowd was getting excited as well and sophie the duchess of edinburgh was uh came out in a carriage with uh sir timothy who is princess anne's husband so they came out in a carriage and she was waving and it was a lovely moment because that was like the start of the procession really after the soldiers had gone um and then there were also there was also another carriage with uh i think it's the duke and duchess of gloucester it might be the duke and duchess of kent i couldn't find any information specifically on who it was but i think it's the duke and duchess of gloucester so it was lovely to see them go past in the carriage as well and at this point the procession was kind of far away it was around the other side of the um victoria memorial so i could still see it as you can see in the video but it just wasn't as amazing like as if it was our side i'll get on to that a bit later so after that we then saw uh the king on horseback which is really exciting because that was the first time a monarch has been on horseback since 1986 so it was quite a historical moment in modern history and everybody was so excited like to see the king on horseback was such an exciting and unique moment so that was really really good and then we also saw princess anne prince edward and prince william on horseback too and they were in a row of three behind the king and behind them was a carriage with the queen the princess of wales prince george prince louis and princess charlotte and you know you see it on TV. It's just so magical to see it in real life. Everybody was cheering. Everybody was like talking about um, the Queen and the Princess of Wales's outfits. That was a talking point of the crowd. And it was just really cool to see them go past. And that was kind of the first leg of the day um, because they all then went down. I can't even remember the name of it, but it's like this square bit where they actually do the trooping the colour and there's the salute and all those things. So they were gone for approximately an hour and a half and they made their way back and this was the only negative part of the day and there was not a lot of negative parts of the day the only thing that i can say that was a bit disappointing was that the procession ended up going the same way round the victoria memorial um is on the on the way there so we were expecting the carriages and the horses to come our side round to the palace but they went back the same way so all it meant was that we didn't get a close view of the procession but we could still see it so it wasn't the end of the world but we were a little bit disappointed now an interesting part of the day was the gun salutes and i saw online it said there were 41 gun salutes but well, actually i shouldn't say gun it's like a cannon it was like mad uh so there were some gun slash cannon salutes and they were so loud they were at green parks so they weren't far away and every time like you heard it you could actually kind of in some ways feel the ground shake you could hear it echoing off the palace so that was really cool because there was one at the coronation but having 41 in a row was very unique but it didn't feel like 41 so i don't know if it was that many but there were more there was quite a few there there was loads happening uh, and shortly after that, um, the crowd started to fill the mall. So if you haven't been or seen a royal event before, then the mall fills up for the balcony appearance. This is where the public get to try and get as close as they can um, to the gates to try and see the balcony appearance which is a highlight for many people's days so the first group was um people from uh scouts from cubs from brownies those um amazing people and they were short they were being like led by the police and then after that it was the people who actually watched trooping the color and then it was the general public so they're all filling up and I was desperate to get a really good view. I could see the balcony from where I was, which was really good, but I was quite far back. Um, so after someone else decided to go over a barrier and to get through, I decided to climb on a barrier and get over this like little fence bit. It wasn't illegal. It was fine. Other people were doing it. Um, so that was really, really exciting. So I managed to get onto the mall and I made my way as far forward as I can. And this was all happening whilst the flyover was happening. So I was trying to film the flyover whilst getting through the crowd. After a bit of walking and in some cases nearly crawling, I managed to get a really good spot. Um, I did get quite close to the gate, but what I noticed was that the railings of the fences blocked the view. So I ended up going backwards and I went nearer to the Victoria Memorial in the middle and then I got a really good spot. So I got there just in time to see the CR flyover which that which is like Charles's initials which was really really unexpected so I saw them fly over and I also got some really good clips of the royal family I could make out everybody it felt like I was watching it on TV but it was it was just surreal um, and then obviously the big moment with the red arrows and the red white and blue smoke came over and there is a few 
moments after where the royal family were just waving and they said goodbye. Louis did his little salute, which was so cute. And I think the crowds loved that. And to be fair, that was it. That was kind of the end of the event. But it was so exciting. I mean, everyone was so together. We all had an amazing time. And I really want to go next year. If I go next year, I will be filming it again. It was so, so fun. And I recommend you going, which brings me on to kind of the next bit. How do you actually kind of go to it? So if you want to see the actual Drooping the Colour event, which is a ticketed thing, you can go in a ballot. I'm not sure when it comes out exactly. I'm sure um, some people will know. So if you know that, please let me know. Um, and in that way, you can actually get secure tickets and you will watch the actual um ser service thing this one, it's not really a service but the main event of the day you get to see that um however if you don't have a ticket like me you can go to buckingham palace or the mall i recommend getting there well i went there very early and to be honest it didn't really fill up until about half seven eight o'clock so if you are planning on going i would aim to get there by eight o'clock um and to be honest there are many places you can stand obviously if you really want to see the balcony go as close as you can to the palace however if you want to walk up the mall they let you um they let you out at certain bits of the mall so you can walk up to the palace so it just kind of depends where you want to go but i would aim to get there about eight o'clock if you're going next year um and just have a great time you have to be open i think because you are waiting for such a long time so you you need to obviously kind of like make friends around you if you want to um bring a book you can even bring chairs i know some people don't bring them um and they recommend you to put them away when you're watching um the procession just to make sure everybody has a good view um but if you are waiting a long time bring a chair bring some snacks um but it was a great day and actually i briefly want to talk about what happened after this so we kind of got a bit stuck similar to if you see my coronation video i got a bit stuck then as well um because there's so many people trying to get out um so anyway um we there was this like private party thing and everybody thought king charles was there so everybody was taking photos turns out it wasn't king charles but it was still fun anyway um and i made my way to trafalgar square and west end live was happening and so i actually managed to watch a few um performances i saw matilda i saw a bit of Mamma mia i saw um six i saw magic mike so it was really really good i thoroughly enjoyed that very unexpected i was outside the uh the fence so you couldn't see that well but as you can see in the clips i still still saw the stage um but it was an amazing day i hope you enjoyed this kind of documentary if you do end up going next year let me know what it's like i will hopefully see you there and it was like a year away but still i found like when i was preparing to go i watched a lot of trooping the color vlogs so i hope this in some ways helps you as well um so thank you so much watching this video and i will see you soon for another one bye guys